Hey guys, Omni here. I wanted to go over a little article that was released, I think yesterday, if I'm right. This is coming from THR, and it's regarding the current status, or at least the future status, of the Power Rangers brand. And if you didn't know, couldn't tell, you didn't see my top 10 TV shows, I love Power Rangers. It's still one of my top 10 favorite TV shows of all time, regardless of the camp of it. I grew up with it. I was there when the first episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers ever aired. Uh, I was five, I think, when it first aired, and I was sucked right in. I can still go back and rewatch it and really enjoy everything that it does. Uh, everything that it, it, no matter how goofy or cheesy or cringy it can ever get, I still do enjoy it. I still find it very rewatchable. And, you know, it's, it was recently acquired by Hasbro not too long ago, but it, nothing's really, no news has really been said about what they're going to be doing with it. They talked about, you know, bringing it into their production with everything else they've got going on with like Transformers, with G.I. Joe, building out these universes. They wanted to do what they've been doing with those, but with the Power Rangers. And as we know, the last outing, in, at least the last theatrical outing, the movie didn't do as well as it was they thought it would. I thought it was okay. I liked it. I, I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. I just, I thought it was, it was okay. Different, but okay. Very clunky. It had its problems, sure, but it, I was like, all right, well, who knows? We'll see where it goes after this, but <laughs> that all got canceled. That's all gone. Um, so I'm curious to see what's going to happen with this, because there's a lot of talk in this article from THR uh, talking about the new direction that they're going to be going on with this. And as we know, there's a new se series. I think it's either about to air or is airing currently. So the show is still going on in the theme and the way, in the fashion that it has been for all these years. Uh, and I've watched most of them, or at least, and seen bits of each se series, but uh, nothing really ever gripped me as closely Nothing ever really gripped me as closely as it did with the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So let's go over this article and we'll kind of see what their plans are going forward. So uh, right now the reins are being uh, handed over to E1 Entertainment One, which is going to be ran uh, in head by Jonathan Entwistle. I think that's how you say it. Um, and he's going to be pretty much their Kevin Feige over the, the Power Rangers brand. And just for a little bit of context, too, Jonathan Entwistle was the creator behind Netflix's End of the Effing World um, and also a co-creator on a recent series called I'm Not Okay With This. So that's his background if you need anything with that. I haven't watched either of those shows and honestly I haven't even heard anything as far as word of mouth regarding both of those. So I don't know if this is good news to hear or bad news. So I, I, I can't say. So sound off in the comments about that. I'm just going to read the quotes in this. So Jonathan has an incredible creative vision for this iconic and hugely successful franchise and is hands down the right architect to join us as we reimagine, reimagine the television and film worlds of this property. Across our slate, we're looking forward to working with the most talented storytellers as we take on Hasbro's rich fan favorite brands and build entertainment universes around them. So they wanted to build a universe out of this. This is an unbelievable opportunity to deliver new Power Rangers to both new and existing generations of awaiting and adoring fans. We'll bring the spirit of analog into the future, harnessing the action and storytelling that made this brand a success. So it really goes on just to talk, talk about, you know, the legacy of Power Rangers, some more about it, some what happened with Lionsgate. Um, and then what, that's about it. That's pretty much all the article goes into. So there's a couple of things that I wanted to kind of point out and kind of see where this is going. So they're completely under new stewardship at this point. And some things I wanted to kind of point out in these statements, because it's not a lot of information, but you can infer quite a bit out of it. So they did say they want to reimagine the television and film worlds of this property. So a lot of the times when you hear that kind of verbiage, it kind of makes you think, are they going to reboot this? Is this going to be starting from scratch? Or are they going to continue this legacy in a different way? Like the shows, like I said, there's a new one going on right now or about to, whatever. It's still ongoing. It has been. It's never really stopped, not for long. And it still keeps in tradition. They still throw back to the originals here and there. 
We still have people making guest appearances who have been previous Rangers. It has its own legacy, and but it, it's also never really re left its target audience. That's something that I think that this is kind of alluding to. So one of two things can happen out of this. They're going to reboot the universe, and whatever they make going forward is going to be a new generation of uh, Power Rangers stuff. Either they're a new Mighty Morphin, they'll start from scratch, or it'll be something completely different. And they also talk about films, bring that into it. So there will be a film universe as well. Are the, is the film universe going to be separate from the television one? Is this new universe going to be completely connected uh, with the film and whatever they're doing on TV? Is what they're going to be working on, their new projects, going to be tied to the original line from Mighty Morphin to this Beast Morphers, I think is the one that's on. Maybe I'm wrong, Dino Chargers, I don't remember. Whatever what it's on right now. I've lost track because um, at this point, it's just like, let's combine this thing with this word and we're done. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be a thing or they're going to retcon all of that. Get rid of that. That's going to be the old stuff. That's you don't want that no more because I think that'll actually take off a lot of people, a lot of current fans, uh, especially if they go back and try to reboot Mighty Morphin. I mean, like I said, you got people like me, you got plenty of people who still cherish that stuff and that's one of the things too that i'm that i wanted to point out here they talk about bringing power rangers to both new and existing generations of awaiting and adoring fans so we're going to definitely see some new stuff and i think for existing generations if they're wanting to make stuff for the people that grew up with it we're going to be seeing some different mediums we know that the comics that have been uh continuing this uh, power ranger story have gone in some interesting and fairly dark ways and a lot of the uh, memorabilia the a lot of the collector series stuff is definitely geared towards the people that grew up with it the originals the mighty morphin a lot of that stuff is still geared towards mighty morphin power rangers that they're releasing even the current ongoing storylines are mostly centered around the core characters the core concepts of the mighty morphin era um with lord draken and everything going on there with uh, tommy oliver and all this stuff going on in the comics the games and i think that maybe we can see some kind of adaptation of that maybe a more mature version of it something a little more interesting and grounded because i know there's a lot of people that like that short film that was going around youtube that really dark and gritty power rangers thing i don't think hasbro unlike saban is going to be that afraid to take things in a different direction and experiment um but i don't know what this is going to mean for the brand going forward and what we've seen up to this point I don't want them to erase everything that's come before because you're never going to take the Jason David Frank out of this. Yeah, I don't think he'll let you. <laughs> um, but I, I want to keep that legacy intact. And if you could do like a new Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, something like that with the, the maybe like reboot it, but still have the old ones have been part of that past and just pass on the coins, repair the coins, repair, repair that uh, severed part of the grid and get things moving forward. Um, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this, to be completely honest, because the Power Rangers, I think, is that is one of those things that was a it was a time capsule. I never really felt like Power Rangers really was able to work all that well outside of the 90s. You know, um, as much as I love it, I just wa look back on it and watch it. And it's just nostalgia. I just have a lot of fun rewatching the old shows. And I think that's one of the reasons that I never completely gravitated fully onto any of the later seasons. Like, I, wa I watched, like, in religiously up until In Space, I think. And then I finally started to fall off, fall behind. And I have watched the some of the series. I think the last one I actually watched to completion was um, Dino Thunder. Um, but since then, I mean, I, I've I've just been like, oh, that's the thing that's happening now. Uh, I've just kind of fallen off. So I'm curious to see what they're going to do here, what kind of shows they're going to bring to life, what kind of films they're going to bring to life. But really what concerns me the most is what's going, what, what is that going to mean in the, the status of the original line? What's that going to mean for those? What are they going to consider those? Is this going to turn into a George Lucas trilogy versus the sequel trilogy, the Disney Star Wars? Is this going to try to segment those factions into different categories and targets rather than try to unite them. I don't know. It's, 
I'm really curious to see how we're going to follow this going forward. But it's like anytime I see somebody using the word re reimagine, it always seems like they're they're wanting to like reboot or remake something and really not continue. Could be wrong. Could be a completely incorrect inference. So I want to know what you guys think. Did you grow up with the Power Rangers? Which one did you grow up with? Do you care at all? And let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on this news, this situation, and we'll carry on the conversation after the video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys next time. Take care, everybody.